and welcome to Sukkot of Torah. This year is entitled Repeating a Mitzvah, a Biblical Mitzvah, and Reciting a Bracha. A person goes ahead and shofar, blows shofar. First day Rosh Hashanah, it's a Biblical Mitzvah. I'm not sure, did he get it right? Did he not get it right? He always later he's thinking about it. He realizes he may have made a mistake. He's not sure. Suffolk, the right to Lachamra. That's clear. Mr. Guru writes in Talkov Pehain or Haim, it says you have to suffer the right to the Now the question is, I'm going back and I'm, I'm, I'm going to do the mitzvah again. I blow shofar again. First day lulav when it's from the Torah. I'm not sure if I did I do lulav, right or not. Was it a kosher lulav? It's a suffix. I don't know. Do it again. Suffolk the right to the What about a bracha? Do I make a bracha? That's an amazing question. Because on the one hand, Suffolk the Rites I'm doing the mitzvah, and therefore I should make a bracha when I do the mitzvah. I have to do the mitzvah now. On the other hand, wait, Suffolk bracha lahakel. So, Ben Yon and bracha tchafalif talks about the case of Kriyachma, where a person goes ahead, not sure if they said Kriyachma, he repeats Kriyachma and the bracha. Assuming he just doesn't remember, did I say the Shema? Did I say the bracha? I don't remember. So he goes ahead and he repeats Shema with the bracha. Ben Yon says, in any time, that you're in Suffolk, you know you are higher than the mitzvah, but you don't know, did, it, did you discharge your chiyav or not? So you're not sure, Suffolk, the right to repeat the mitzvah, out of a doubt, and make the bracha, because once you're repeating, doing the mitzvah, you have, you have to do the mitzvah now, because of a Suffolk, so make the bracha. Mishavur and Tafkuf Pehei says, not so simple. Suffolk, the right to yes. Suffolk, bracha l'hakil. And that's the Pesach of the Mishapur. He also like to be shown him that say you do not make a bracha when you repeat the mitzvah of Suffolk. And in Samach Zayin, the Shulchan does paskin by Shema. You do repeat Shema in a Suffolk case and you say the brachot. And I post him over there, deal with what about a regular mitzvah? What do you do? So, what is the Svara to say that you should repeat? the mitzvah, and do it out of suffolk, and say the bracha, what's as far to say now? Maybe we could say the following. Rabbi Yonah holds what a person is high enough to do shofar, so once I'm high enough to blow the shofar, mamela, naturally I should make the bracha. I am have, have to do the lulav, and suffolk, I have to do the lulav, naturally I should make the bracha. Sounds very compelling. Commanded, I must go ahead and build the shofar. The Mishabur will follow another Rishonim. What does he say? That it's true. I because of Suffolk, the right of the I'm in doubt, and because of the rule that when I'm in doubt, if it's biblical, I go back. It's true I must, must blow shofar right now. But the Mishabur will say to you, Danny Mars, at five o'clock, you're blowing the shofar again 30 times. Because you don't know if at 11 in the morning, you don't know. You're listening, you're daydreaming, you don't know. So you have to blow right now at 5 o'clock. Danny Myers, when did you fulfill the mitzvah of Shofar? What will I say to him? I'll say to him, Mishavura, either at 5 right now I'm fulfilling the mitzvah of Shofar, or it could be I did it at 11. I'll say, really? So that means that at 5 o'clock, you are in Safek whether you're getting the key or mitzvah. The only thing you know you're doing for sure at 5 in the afternoon is you are discharging your responsibility that when you have a suffix, the right, you must go ahead and repeat the mitzvah. But you don't know if you're getting the mitzvah show for now. You may have done it earlier. So according to Mishabur, the bracha goes on the kiyam ha-mitzvah, the fulfillment of the mitzvah. And I don't know if I'm doing that now. I might have done it earlier. Rabbi Yon, it says the bracha goes on the action which I must perform now. So I performed it at 10 in the morning. And I hope I got it right, but I'm not sure. And now I have to perform it again. I don't know if I'm getting the mitzvah now, but I have to perform it again. So once I have to perform it again, Mamela, that should I make a bracha. So that might be the machloket. Does the bracha go on the chiv to do the action? Does Rabbi Yon have a chiv to do the action now? Or does the bracha go on the kiyam ha-mitzvah, the fulfillment of the mitzvah? And I don't know if I'm getting the fulfillment of the mitzvah, so therefore, safek brachot la 
That's a machlokas, a mishavrur, once he paskins, he usually is the posik of the 20th century, and that's how we follow. Shalom.